from livingcleananddirty.com and today I'm going to show you how in my house we make homemade potato chips. They're super, they're fast, they're easy and they're healthy because I know it's exactly it's in them. I start out with potatoes. You could take any potatoes. In my case they're um, red potatoes. They're organic so I'm not going to take the skin off or anything. And you have a mandolin and I come over here and you just start making. The trick is the thin slices. My husband is cringing as he's taking video because I think he sees my finger being chopped off in his mind. Ow! But I promise you, look, I'm gonna make you more comfortable. And this is the safety guide. So as you can see, they're super thin and that makes it easier. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is then you put them on a paper toweling, which um, in this house is being the eco-friendly mama that I am, we very rarely use paper toweling, but in this case I have to. What you're gonna try to do is get rid of the excess water. So you keep doing that. Now there is a method, if you don't have one of these um, nifty trays, just do that part for now. And I pack this, see? If you don't have one of these nifty trays that I went out and bought, these are not expensive, they're silicone, I think, and, um, uh, they were fantastic. There's a downside to this in that the downside is that you can only fill this up um, with a thin layer. So you can make only a few chips at a time. I've seen on the internet some reviews, people bought two of these. So while one is making and cooking in the microwave, you're filling up another one and you can constantly go, but I just have one. Uh, you, If you don't have one of these, there's a lot of, uh, ways you can do it. I've seen on the internet. I've never personally done it. You lay it out on a tray and you bake them in the oven. I'm going to take a little, um, this is my reusable pump. And this is also what I love about this thing is, uh, I can put what oil I want in it as opposed to buying whatever's in the, um, store and the aerosol sprays and it's a whole headache. This is, um, olive oil. So I'm just going to spray a little. I didn't pump it up enough. And this being livingcleananddirty.com, you could imagine this is good practice. And so I oil it up a little because I want to get both sides with a little olive oil, make it nice and crispy. And then you line it up. Like I said, don't overlap it. And you can make these whatever flavor you want. That's the other nice thing. Now I've only made them just salted, but you can make salt and vinegar, or as my husband affectionately refers to them as douche chips. <laughs> you can make barbecue, you know, whatever's Cajun spices. And then I just do that. And then I take good old kosher salts, because my kids like a little salt. I very rarely give them sweet, some salty stuff, and I throw it in. Now, this is the trick. You have to learn your microwave. My microwave, three minutes is what makes them crispy. But you'll have to do a couple of batches and see what works for you. Depends on the strength of your microwave. Again, you can bake these if you don't have a microwave. If you're, um, listen, I'm into living clean, and I'm not into the whole microwave thing, but even I can't live without a microwave. But if you're back to the 1800s and you don't have a microwave, totally fine, I respect that. You can use your oven. Okay, so they're ready. I'm gonna take it out now. It's a little warm, but it doesn't get too hot. And it has turned into potato chips. They're very crispy. They're excellent, sorry. My kids love these, and I found this because it started with my kids wanting potato chips. And I looked at the ingredients in potato chips, and they're crap. So I thought there's gotta be a way to make them. Um, and that's how I found this. When I ordered um, this online, I bought this online, I believe it came with the mandolin. Um, to make them, but I'm not 100% sure. But you know, you can pick up these mandolins anywhere. 
And uh, yes, it did because it's the same company that makes the mandolin that makes this. So I bought a set because I didn't have one. And they're super easy, they're fun. My kids love them. And honestly, if you can get kids to love them, you're good to go. Hey, also, I give them to my, I'm gonna make them tonight for my child's snack for tomorrow. So they last, they stay crunchy. I put them in a container um, and I send it and, and they enjoy them the next day just as much. So that is my quick tip uh, from livingcleananddirty.com.